Hello, I'm Dustin Kirkland, product manager at Google, and I'm joined here by my colleague, Sebastian Goezgen at Bidnami, where he leads Kubernetes. Sebastian, can you tell me a little bit about what you're hearing from users and customers about Kubernetes in Bitnami's sphere? Sure, so uh, you know, at Bitnami, as you said, I, uh, I lead all the Kubernetes efforts, uh, open source, uh, so we work on application packaging, specifically for Kubernetes, so of course containers, but then we package and we deliver on Kubernetes. You know, GKE, of course, is uh, one of the, the target platforms. And you know, people, it's still a little bit early, you know, I mean, the conference is booming, 4,000 people, but it's still early in, in the space where you know, users are migrating to microservices and cloud native applications. So they need a lot of help in first understanding the, the entire space and then understanding how their application is going to look like in Kubernetes on that platform. So we help them do that, and then we help them package uh, those apps, uh, you know, make the good choices in terms of uh, containerizing them, using things like Helm charts, or maybe a GitOps-like uh, uh, pipeline to, to deploy. Yeah. So you've really seen this, this shift in development methodologies from the developer's perspective. Yeah, and you know, personally, I like to think of it also as a, it's a more of a general shift with DevOps, and you know, being able to be extremely quick to market, to react extremely quickly, uh, you know, compared to a, a more traditional type of application development where you know that's slower, and uh, and people you know need a, you know months or years to to deploy apps. Here we see people realizing that they need to go extremely quickly. So that's where microservices, containers, and then a platform like uh, like Cube, you know, makes it extremely easy with rolling updates. Uh, CI/CD, of course. CI/CD, of course, you know, which is integrated. But interestingly, I mean, we have to be realistic. A lot of people are still not there. So you know, yes, CI/CD, but we need to help those people who are maybe not, you know, quite there yet with their pipeline, with their software development pipeline. Uh, you know, get them on board with this new new wave of doing uh, doing apps. Right, and where do you see the challenges are right now? Where are people stubbing their toes? Well, so you need to, you know, you need to help them understand the, the impact of those technologies. I always say, you know, adopting a tech just because that's the new thing, you know, going Kubernetes just because Kubernetes is really hot right now, that's not the good reason. So they really need to understand that, you know, they need a, a software factory, they need their developers on board with, you know, uh, using a version control, of course, but then automatically building containers, understanding the manifest for Kubernetes. So it's an entire, you know, life cycle of software, life cycle of the application that they, they need to embrace. And, uh, you know, you, we need to start at the beginning, which is, you know, the devs, of course. And then, you know, we need to, to approach the uh, operators because it's a big change for the, uh, the operators of the infrastructure. Uh, they need to be on board with adopting the Kubernetes API to, to manage this infrastructure. Uh, you know, so it's an entire uh, effort there of uh, transformation for cloud native. Right. So you're, uh, you're quite involved in the community and you've, you've certainly seen and met a lot of people around Kubernetes over the years. Who are some of the people that inspire you? Uh, maybe you want to give a shout out to or give a thanks to on, on camera here. <laughs> sure, so for, yeah, I, was, I started in Kubernetes you know, 2014 uh, when I wrote the Docker cookbook. So I met Joe Bida remotely and he helped me write some of the, the Kubernetes content before he went GA. So you know, I can say that I was there early, but I don't work on core, I really work on the edge. Uh, because I, you know, I created a startup which was acquired by, uh, by Bitnami, so I'm really on the edge, not really contributing to, to core per se. Uh, but the, the people I really admire, you know, I mean, Joe Bida is you know, one of them, extremely smart, of course, which was at Google before and, and worked on, uh, on GCE. And, uh, and then I have to say that Brian Grant is quite impressive to me as a you know, smooth guy, you know, quiet, but extremely sharp. And when, uh, when you point out a technical problem, he brings up like a, a GitHub issue or a, a PR with its, with its number. So it's quite, uh, quite impressive. Well, thank you, Sebastian. Appreciate thank your you. time. Yeah, cheers.